Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Handling Errors and Exceptions. In this tutorial, you will learn to Understand Errors and Exceptions Handle Errors and Exceptions To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 Operating System Python 3.4.3 and IPython 5.1.0 to practice this tutorial, you should know how to use functions and carry out testing and debugging. If not, see the relevant Python tutorials on this website. In Python, there are two kinds of errors. Syntax errors and exceptions. Syntax errors are caused by incorrect usages and these are detected by parser. For example, if true print inside brackets, inside double quotes, done. It will give syntax error since colon is missing after true. Exception is an error that occurs during execution of a program. Python generates an exception that can be handled which avoids the program to crash. For example, 1 by 0. It will give zero division error exception. Let us see these examples in action. Open the terminal. Type ipython3 and press enter. From here onwards, remember to press the enter key after typing every command on the terminal. Now type if true print inside brackets inside double quotes done. The output shows syntax error. It displays an arrow pointing at the earliest point in the line where the error was deducted. In our case, the error is caused by missing colon after true in if class. Now type 1 by 0. Python throws an exception called zero division error. Even though the expression is syntactically correct, we cannot divide a number by zero. Exception is a special kind of failure reported by the programming language. Let us see how can we deal with exceptions that occur in programs. Type A is equal to input inside brackets inside double quotes Enter an integer. I will enter AC as input. Now type num is equal to int inside brackets A. When you run this code, it throws a value error exception. This is because we are trying to convert the string to integer. So now we can catch exceptions and write code to handle it. For this, we have try and accept class in Python. Here is the syntax of try accept else blocks. First, the statements between the try and accept keywords is executed. If the statements do not cause any exception, the accept class is skipped. If the statements cause any exception, then accept class is executed if exception name matches and the execution continues after the try statement. The code in the else block executes if the code in the try block does not raise an exception. Type as shown. Give ac as input. Now we will type the try and accept blocks. Press enter twice to get the output. In the previous example, we encountered a problem because we tried to convert the string ac to integer. Here, conversion of string value to an integer is given inside try block. Value error exception is raised and so the output is displayed as wrong input. In the previous example, we found out what caused the error and then resolved to get a solution for it. This whole process is called debugging. Next, we will see another case in try except statement with else clause. 
Let's change our previous code slightly. Type as shown. I will give input as 23. Now type as shown. This try except statement as an optional else clause. It is useful if the try class does not raise an exception. Let us see another example for debugging. Create a file mymodule.py with the following code. The variable i is iterated from 0 to 9. Let us run this code in IPython. Type from mymodule import test. Test open and close brackets. Interpreter gives us zero division error because there is a division by zero error. To find the value which caused the error, type percentage debug. The code which caused the error is shown by an arrow. The prompt has changed to IPDB which is the IPython debugger mode. Using this debugger here, you can access variables in the previous code block. We can check values of variables to inspect what went wrong. For example, on typing i, we get 5 as output. This means that the error was caused when the value of i became 5. To exit from the IPDB prompt, press Q and press Enter. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about errors and exceptions, handling exception using try and accept, using percentage debug for debugging in IPython. Here is a self-assessment question for you to solve. How do you start the debugger on IPython? And the answer? We start the debugger on IPython by saying percentage debug. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general queries on Python in this forum. Fozzy team coordinates the TBC project. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. For more details, visit this website. This is Priya from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.